I'm Kathy Hallman, and I'm a spiritual director affiliated with the Ignatius House Retreat Center. In today's scripture, we find ourselves with Jesus as he is teaching a crowd that had gathered. His teaching is interrupted by a young man who calls out for Jesus to demand that his brother share the family inheritance with him. I imagine Jesus is being a bit surprised by the interruption as he turns to the man, perhaps with a soft smile, and replies, My friend, who made me judge or arbitrator over you? And then Jesus skillfully shifts the conversation back to a spiritual teaching as he once again addresses the crowd. Be on your guard, he says, against all sorts of greed. And he tells them a parable. The land, notice his words here, the land produces a bumper crop for a wealthy farmer. In an attempt to save all that has been given, the farmer decides to tear down his barns and build larger ones that will accommodate his bumper crop. In a moment of accomplishment and pride, the farmer says to his soul, so you have ample goods saved up for many years. Take it easy, eat, drink, be merry. But God says to the, fam the farmer, Foolish one, tonight your very soul will be required of you, and then what will become of all your possessions? And Jesus would have his listeners understand that it is not our possessions that strengthen and sustain our souls, but our relationship with God. St. Ignatius opens his spiritual exercises, reminding us that we are created to praise reverence and serve God. It is by this means that we save our soul. Consequently, Ignatius says, on our own part, we ought not to seek health rather than sickness, wealth rather than poverty, honor rather than dishonor, a long life rather than a short one, and so on in all other matters." End quote. We are to praise God in whatever condition we find ourselves. St. Ignatius asks us to seek in all circumstances of life opportunities to praise and reflect the beauty of God's blessing. Two years ago, I lost my dearest friend Peggy to lung cancer. Peggy had a great sense of humor and a quick wit. She was always fun to be around. During her hip illness, her most difficult days were her days of chemotherapy. One morning as she arrived for her treatment, the attending nurse greeted her with a big smile and open arms that led to a warm embrace. I'm so happy to see you, she said. I always love the days you come in. You always bring such joy to this place. As Peggy was relating this story to me, she paused and then she said, I guess that just goes to show that no matter how sick you are, you can always bring joy. Years ago, I visited a homeless parish that meets in downtown Atlanta, a church without walls. In typical fashion, the parish announcements were given at mid-service. The deacon stepped forward made a few announcements and closed with an announcement that caught my attention. She announced that the parish outreach committee would be meeting after the service under the large tree at the corner of the property. The outreach committee of the homeless congregation. Wherever you find yourself, whatever your circumstances. Our invitation is to seek God and God's love and then reflect his love and generosity to the world. 